wow, what an unexpected surprise. I mean, this was nothing that we thought it would be. Uh, to see it as a billboard on the side of the highway. park it's at the bottom of Georgia we're headed up to the Georgia Aquarium in Atlanta but we're stopping at this RV park for the holiday because it is Memorial Day weekend so we're just gonna stop there and stay through the holiday so that we don't have to fight all the crowds and then we'll be heading on up to Atlanta so we're leaving Florida and it was really nice I enjoyed Florida we had a good time um, I think I liked all of it except for about the 25 uh, yellow fly bites I currently have that are itching me to death. Um, other than that and the allergic reaction that I had to the watermelon, which was an adventure, <laughs> other than that I've enjoyed everything in Florida. It's been fun, but it's time to move on, go back up towards north. I think we're both ready to see some mountains again. So we're waiting at the um, rest stop because these people parked over here instead of in the car parking. And they had blocked us in. So, yeah, the RV truck parking's full. As you can see, everyone's lining up on the side, but these guys were supposed to park in the cars and they didn't. There we go. Finally. Maybe. <laughs> no parking. Yeah, that's some overkill right there. <laughs> I think we get the point. That is cleaning the windshield. Getting rid of some of them love bugs. We're a little splattered with them. Just like everyone else down here in Florida. Bye bye Florida. Okay, I think this one might be open. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Let's go get some coupons. Anybody, if you ever open a RV park or campground, don't do this. See that? It's got a big uphill it's got to climb, so everything is going to gather down here. And if you're not careful, somebody is going to make a mess dumping their waste. It needs to be down lower, downhill from the site. So we got here to our campground in Georgia. It's all right. <laughs> um, the internet wasn't what we thought, but we have good cell service, so we can use hotspot. Um, and we're on a concrete pad, so can't get much better than that. We were really craving some pizza, so we've been trying to make our own meals from scratch, and this is our first attempt at pizza, pizza. from scratch. <laughs> so we're gonna see how that turns out. At least at the moment it looks legit. We'll see. 
this this isn't it's a microwave but it's also a convection oven so it's it's not microwaving it's it's convecting that uh that's looking pretty legit right there sweet i hope it tastes good the question everybody wants to know though would neil's approve so since we don't really have any plans for today uh or for the next four days uh, just laying low for the holiday. We're gonna do some basic things. I got some stuff to fix around the RV. We got some grocery shopping to do. Um, other than that, we're just gonna hang out, maybe rent some movies, and, and enjoy some peace and quiet. The first thing I need to do is I've got a bit of ice build up here in the fridge, and I need to get rid of that, and then we're gonna go get a dehumidifier pack to stop that from happening again. Got it. Done. Next project is our shower latch door. It looks like the spring has popped out or broke or something in here. I'm going to see if I can fix that. So I don't know about this one. You can actually see the spring down in there. I don't think you can see it. But it's down there. And it looks like it's held together by rivets. I don't think I'll be able to fix this, but I'm gonna mess with it a minute and see if I can if I can do anything. So I got the spring out and I'm gonna looks like it actually see that nub right there? Looks like part of the spring broke off and it goes between here and a little nub there, but I got the spring. I'm gonna try and wedge it in there. I don't know how well it's gonna work, but we'll see. Yeah, so that's not gonna work. Since this spring has broken, it's not long enough anymore. You can set it in there and it kinda works, but it'll just fall right back out again. So, uh, looks like we'll have to live without it latching, or maybe I can go buy an RV place, or bathroom supply and, and find a latch that works, a new one or a spring or, or something, but uh, not fixing that right now. I'm going to have to go get something for it. So I'm going to try something. I, I robbed a spring from a ink pen and it looks exactly the same size. So I'm just going to cut it to length and see if that'll work. Maybe. So I think I got it. I don't know how long it'll work. Maybe it'll be good. I don't know. It's on track and seems to be working good. So I got it to kind of lock down over where the old one used to lock in at. So we'll see. Maybe that's fixed. Well, so far, so good. I don't know about durability, but it's working. Awesome. The next project's an easy one. Our drain has disconnected from the plunger. Um, that's an easy fix, just getting under the sink and tightening the screw. Easy. Done. Another thing I didn't get on camera and I forgot to mention was the the drain tube that, that drains out excess water out of the refrigerator was clogged with something. So every time we we uh, de-leveled the RV to get ready to drive somewhere, water would leak out from the bottom part of the door because it was all gathering up in a tray right there and not flowing out. So I just had this handy syringe right here and put it on the drain tube and gave it a few pumps just like a plunger. And now we have a little puddle of water that comes out of the refrigerator and drips onto the ground which is where it's supposed to go so my next project I've got a replacement LP gas detector to install to replace the old one um, but the wiring is a little different and I've got all my wiring stuff here in my tester and I just need to figure out what my hot wires are and uh, see if I can get this new one working so the new detector has two wires power and a ground and the old detector had 
three wires going to it, two reds and a yellow. And I don't know, it was probably some kind of shutoff system or something, but all I know is I need power. And I've got 12 volt power going to these two reds and this yellow, I've got nothing. And I, I don't know what it was for. Maybe it was for sending a shutoff to the heater or something like that if it detected it. Uh, but I went ahead and just disconnected it. And then I found a grounding plate back here with an open slot. I put this black wire on it. And I'm just going to attach that to the end, yellow end of the wire here. So I have ground and power. And reattach the other end of this plug to the new detector. And it should work. All right. Moment of... Truth. Let's see if it works when I connect the... I've got a green flashing light. What's that mean? Green. On. Alright, let's test it. Woo! It's working. Alright. Let's install it. Okay, so it has a, a, a thing in it that needs to heat up, and you'll have a flashing green light, which you saw earlier. Uh, now that the green light is steady, another good way to test and make sure that your detector is working is just use a standard lighter and press the gas near the sensor, and if it goes off, you're, you're good to go. So let's see if that works. That's what we were told, so let's see. go just in case anybody's wondering the reason we did replace the detector is even though the old one seemed like it worked they do expire and they have expiration dates on them and we wanted to make sure that we had one that was up to date to protect us in case we have a gas leak so you're supposed to replace these every five years and you can see right there the manufacture date on our old one was September of 1997 so this guy was definitely expired it was definitely time to replace it and i'm glad we did so we're down here in the south of georgia in the middle of a heat wave for memorial day weekend uh it almost hit triple digits yesterday it might hit triple digits today it is hot and we noticed even though our curtains closed on our front windshield a lot of heat comes through the front of that rv and the front part of the rv stays very hot even though the ACs are just cranking. And I think it's gonna be better for us and better for the AC if we go and try and find um, a window shade for the RV. And the only place we can think of that's close enough that might have one is Camping World, which is about 30 minutes from us. Uh, we're hoping it's not too crazy expensive, uh, but if we were to get car ones, we'd have to get like three of them to cover the size of the windshield we have. And, and hopefully buying one large one is cheaper than buying three car size ones so we're on our way there and we're gonna we're gonna try and stay cool found this it was only 20 bucks that ought to do the trick so today I've noticed a huge difference after putting that window shade in uh, a big difference I mean it's a huge window so it makes sense that having one of those up will, will block a lot of the heat and it is a heck of a lot cooler in here and uh, hopefully our ACs aren't working as hard to keep this thing cool for the day uh, today is my birthday we are kind of laying low for the holiday. Most places are going to be busy. Um, I like going to arcades, and there's one nearby. I don't know if it's going to be much of anything. It might be something real small. I don't know. Uh, but it's in the mall in the town nearby. I think it's called Valadosta or something. I, I, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. But uh, we're going to go down there and see what the arcade's all about. And 
see what we can get into down there at that mall. Uh, there isn't really any attractions over here besides a theme park, which is uh, more than we want to spend uh, to <laughs> this month. So, yeah. We have acquired a crack. And it just keeps getting worse and worse every day. Yesterday it was here. And now it's all the way over here. And when we started, it was just the middle section. <laughs> That's funny. That's weird. <laughs> it's your birthday. And it's totally on the game right now. As soon as we start it up. You get a cigar. <laughs> That's funny. Happy birthday. So we're leaving Kane's Creekside now and we're headed north towards Atlanta. We could have boondocked at a Cracker Barrel overnight because we don't want to make the trip to Atlanta all in one trip, but it's so hot outside, it's, it's getting up to triple digits. And we have old equipment and I really don't want to stress and leave our generator running for that long to keep our AC on. So we're going to stop at a campground. The thing is, we signed up for Passport America and we knew about it but not too much about it. And while we were at Camping World, we found out that if you're a good SAM member and you buy it at Camping World, you get $5 off, you get three months free. That means that it's only $40 for the whole year. You also get their travel book, which you have to pay for shipping otherwise if you get it online. And honestly, as much as I like apps and technology, for me, it's a lot easier to open up a book, look at a map, and see all the campgrounds that are available. The reason we picked this one is honestly we had a handful to pick from and it's because it has a pool and we're, we're looking to go swimming and cool off a little bit in this heat. We're only going to stay there for two nights and then it's towards Atlanta after that and we're going to use Passport America again. You save 50% on campsites. Every campsite has its own set of rules. Some you only get the 50% for so many days. Some you only get it for certain days of the week. Some you don't get it on weekends or holidays. Every campsite's different, so you have to go through the list and read which one you want to stay at and what their rules are for that discount. But to save 50%, this campground for two nights is $50 a night. 
and we're only paying 25, which means Passport America has already paid for itself in its first stop, which is really awesome. And we're looking forward to saving a lot more money using it. That's cool. We saw a plane drop a bunch of parachutes. Well, our sewer hose wouldn't quite reach. We had to back up a couple feet, one or two feet. So I'm just waiting on Rob's word to try level this thing out again. Are you finding our next campsite? Are you going to find us a place to stay? Where are we going to stay next? Well, does it have full hookups, Padme? That's important. We got to wash your clothes. Does it have full hookups? No? That? That? Mm-hmm. Okay, well you keep looking. Find us one with full hookups. So we're here at Crossroads Travel Park here in Perry, Georgia. It's an okay place. Um, we're kind of tired of uh, parking lots basically and that's essentially what this is. They do have a pool, uh, but it's I mean, it's an okay place. Again, we got our discount through Passport America, so it's only $25 a night. Can't really complain, and uh, this is just a quick stop on our way to uh, Atlanta to see the aquarium. But on our way in here, we saw a sign on the side of the highway that said, uh, Aviation Museum, free. And that's the best price. Uh, and so since we're here for two nights, and we don't have anything planned today, we're gonna head over there and see what it's all about. We're going in completely blind. We have no idea what to expect at this museum. Um, I like aviation things, so uh, maybe we'll see a plane or two or, or, or something, I don't know, but it's free and uh, it's something to do. So let's go see uh, if this is any good or not.
see it? Uh, oh. That's amazing. Can you say amazing? Amazing. <laughs> well, we're just going to play on the bar, huh?
wow what an unexpected surprise i mean this was nothing that we thought it would be uh to see it as a billboard on the side of the highway um and be 100 percent free we weren't expecting that much and this place it's awesome uh, if you're ever down in this area come see it it's free of course they accept donations um and they have little uh money things everywhere you can help with the restoration of aircrafts and everything else but this place is really cool and huge we don't even know if we saw it all uh but we're starving and it's almost time for padme's nap and it's crazy hot outside um there's a lot of aircraft outside here um that we chose not to go look at because of the heat and we weren't expecting it to be this huge so yeah this is unbelievable it's uh it's a really great place to see okay onward towards atlanta we're not quite sure where we're going yet seth's gonna find a place on the way i'm just hitting 75 north we have a few options and she's gonna make some phone calls and hopefully we end up in a decent campground but let's see